So, you might have heard some people talk about the United States trade deficit. I am ordering the first ever comprehensive review of America's trade deficits and all violations of trade rules that harm the United States and the workers of the United States. Anyway, trade deficit just means that when you compare how much the U.S. is buying from the world, how much the world buys from the U.S., there's an imbalance. Like, we're buying more from the world than the world is buying from us. Well, a trade deficit sounds scary because you think of a trade deficit in terms of, like, me and you and our bank accounts and our wallets, right? It's as if you're, like, shelling out money and eventually you're gonna be broke, right? I mean, that's how it would work if it was just, you know, your mom. But countries are very different. There have been countries in the history of the world who have decided that they don't want to trade. And so they try and make everything in their own borders. That was a disaster for them. You wanna know the best example? North Korea. North Korea trades almost nothing with anyone. And they are pretty much screwed because of it. So I'm gonna be the US for a second. Let's say I have a trade deficit because I am sending a bunch of money out there to buy Twinkies. I'm Twinkie crazy and I'm buying Twinkies from the rest of the world. But the rest of the world, they're not buying much of anything from me. I have a trade deficit. I'm buying Twinkies, they're buying nothing. If that kept happening, then eventually, like, I would just have no more money. Like, I would just be throwing my money to the rest of the world, right? That's not happening. The reason is because all that money for Twinkies I keep sending out, it's coming back in the form of investments. So that could be a German company opening a plant in South Carolina, a Brazilian real estate firm buying a skyscraper in Manhattan, the Chinese government buying a bunch of treasury bills from the US government. The point is, is that that money is coming back. And we know that it is because we can see it coming back. But this whole concept of like, oh, we're losing because we have a trade deficit, it doesn't help anybody. 